Here's problem seven, solving this inequality. So we solve it just like, instead of that greater than symbol, we treat it just like an equals. So I'm gonna subtract two in from both sides, subtract two in, I get two in plus three is greater than negative 11. Subtract three, subtract three, two in is greater than negative 14, and now divide by two, divide by two. Does my inequality flip? No, because you're not dividing by a negative, so it stays. So n is greater than negative seven. I want you to try and remember what I said too of why that inequality flips. Number eight, I'm gonna go ahead and move my smaller variable. So I would add 2D to both sides of the inequality. I have eight is less than 5D take away 22. Let's move the number over to be with the eight. With its other number, I get 30 less than 5D. Now I divide by five, divide by five. I get six less than D. In other words, D, remember the alligator's eating D. So if I want to rewrite this, I could put D first. The alligator's eating the D, so I'll keep the alligator eating it. And then put my six. So D is bigger or greater than six. And this says the same thing. Six is smaller than D which means D is bigger than six. Either one of these is fine. You could put either one. Most would probably prefer this, is what most textbooks would want, just because we like the variable first. It helps us sort of understand it a little bit better. Number nine, I'm gonna distribute through. It's gonna give me eight X minus six, less than, over here I'll combine my X's, six X plus 12. Now I'm gonna move my smaller variable, subtract 6x, subtract 6x, 2x take away six, less than 12. Move the number over to be with its buddy, the other number, 2x less than 18, divide by two, divide by two, x is less than nine would be the solution. All x is smaller than nine will make the equation up top true. Some x is smaller than nine, five. If I plug five in here, and here, and here, it'll be a true equation. If I plug something else, two, two is less than nine. Two, 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 it's gonna be true. There's everything that's smaller than nine, if you plug it in there, is gonna make the inequality true. Number 10, well, this is easy enough. Divide by negative two, divide by negative two. X, now what happens when I divide by negative? The inequality flips, and it gives me negative 10. So there's the solution. Number 11. Well, hmm. Looks like to me this number 12 needs to move over there. So I'm going to subtract 12 from both sides. I get negative 30 less than negative 5x. Now we'll divide by what's in front of the x that is being multiplied by negative 5. So I divide both by that. Here's x. What happens to inequality? We divide it by a negative. So does it stay this way? No, we must change it. It flips. And negative divided by negative is positive, so it's six. You can leave your answer like that, or you can put your x first. Notice x is smaller than the six, so the alligator still stays eating the six. So this again is more preferred. X is less than six is the solution here to the problem. Any x is smaller than six will make the equation true. So an x less than six, five or four or three or two, any of those plugged in there will make the equation true. Number 12. Well, let's see. We just need to put these together. So the opposite of D, 18 take away 12 is six, less than or equal to negative 20. I'm going to go ahead and move my six over. The opposite of D is how that's read. It's not really read negative D, but that's okay if you do. I say that myself sometimes. Now, what number is really there? It's really a negative one times the D. So we're gonna divide by negative one. When we do that, the inequality will flip. And that gives me 26. And I will do a video. You can look for it in the Double Hickam YouTube explaining why that inequality flips. Number 13. Well, we put together, I have negative 11x, take away three, bigger than or equal to negative 33. 
Move my number over. I don't know where my brain went, but negative eight with negative two X is negative 10 X. I knew something looked a little weird. Put these together, negative 30, divide by negative 10, divide by negative 10. What happens to the inequality when we divide? It flips. X less than or equal to three for number 13. And our final problem here, 4X minus 2X, negative 2X, greater than negative 30. Divide by negative 2, divide by negative 2. Here's my X. Inequality must flip since we divided or multiplied by a negative. And we have X is less than 15 for the final problem.